Hi, my name is Matt Malone, and I'm the product manager for Liberty Herbicide with BASF here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We've talked a lot this spring about the difference between a generic product and Liberty Herbicide, and talking about understanding when you spray for performance the differences you get with Liberty Herbicide. There's obvious differences, like the packaging, clearly seeing the difference in the bottles in these two here. Also the product themselves, these two syringes measured out with differences in product. The obvious red color of Liberty Herbicide and that very plain color from a generic compound. But one of the other visual differences we see after we mix these products is what happens when the products are agitated. As you can see here with a generic product, introduced to water and agitated with a very mild amount of foam versus Liberty herbicide when agitated, a very robust amount of foam. We understand that farmers and retailers don't appreciate foam in their tank mixes, but what they do appreciate is performance. And up to 40% of any glufosinate herbicide's performance is associated with that product's formulation. The difference in foam you see in this example is a visual representation of the difference in formulation between a generic glufosinate and Liberty herbicide. Defoaming is a simple process, but developing a quality formulation is not. BASF's patented Liberty formulation is designed specifically to improve overall spray retention, droplet dispersion, leaf coverage, and overall herbicide absorption for a net weed control improvement of 15% over generic alternatives. So before you choose your knockdown herbicide this year, remember you get what you spray for.